Yo guys, it's been quite a while since my last video, but here we go. J in just under a week since I when I beat Tokyo John do EX Plus, I have platinum the game. So, like all games, well most of my games I platinum. I'm gonna do a quick roadmap to platinum. So a couple caveats to this. Uh, I am gonna leave the Japanese trophy guide to this because as of this point in time. None of the English guides are 100% complete that I could find. So I'll leave the Japanese guide in the description below. So hopefully that would help you more than the English guides at this point. So let's go through every single one. SS Superman is basically S ranking every single stage. Once again, this is pretty easy to do. You S rank pretty much every single stage once it's new game plus. So you can just, if you can't do it, just new game plus on easy. You'll really pretty much destroy every single goddamn stage. It's not that bad. And plus, this can only be done in your second playthrough because certain dungeons are only locked to New Game Plus. So next, we move on to Homo Perfectus. So in the game, it's a little bit different from uh, the Trails of Cold Steel system. So this game, Ko has uh, your main character Ko has three stats he can upgrade, which is Wisdom, Courage, Virtue. Wisdom is getting answers correct in the game, and most of the most of the time. Those answers are pretty easy. Courage is basically beating dungeons at the highest rank possible. So that's pretty much easy. Virtue is just doing your requests in the game. So pretty much Virtue is really easy. Even if you miss some of the hidden ones, it's not as bad to do. You still get pretty much five stars anyway. Wisdom is probably the hardest since if you get every single question right, it, you probably won't get Wisdom maxed out until the epilogue of the games. And we'll talk about that real shortly. Next is Hey Buddy. So this, of course, is going to be one of your roughest trophies if you don't talk to legitimately everyone in this game and even random people. So uh, once again, check out the guide, the Japanese wiki. It's, it actually is 100% complete compared to the English one. So 9 out of 10, Possession of Law. So this one is basically opening every single treasure chest. And the game does a good job of telling you which dungeons you're missing monsters you haven't found, which dungeon you're missing treasure chests you haven't found, which dungeons you're not S-ranked. So pretty much, if you if you miss something, you can just check your, your battle page in your, in your R, and it's pretty much easy. No ulterior motive. So this I can consider a missable trophy, but uh, in Horaichu, the pawn shop dude will pretty much sell you every single one if you missed it, so... If you miss one of the, the, those items, you can always come back. You can even do this on the, the after story, so it's not that bad. You, you, as long as you remember to go to Haraichu and go get them. So, Calamity came a call in. This is beat the game on the hardest difficulty after story. So, there are like most. This is pretty much like how would I want to put it? Nightmare and Trails of Cold Steel, hardest difficulty. The game really doesn't ramp up that hard until you hit the epilogue and the after story. Then it gets pretty fucking hard. And for the most part, I suggest not doing this with King of Infinity. King of Infinity, what it does is bumps every single enemy up to level 60 at the start of the game. So doing that with Cal Calamity is pretty hard. I, I want to say that because of the end game when you hit the epilogue and the, and the after story. So I should preface this a little bit first. The game consists of eight chapters, an intermission between chapter five and chapter six, an epilogue after chapter eight, if you unlock the true end. So to unlock the true end, you need, let me see right over here, you need at least a maximum total of eight stars in wisdom, courage, and virtue. So there's, you can get a max of five in each one. So pretty much if you do courage, if you do every single dungeon, you probably get courage at five by the end of the game. Wisdom, you if you answer everything kind of sort of, you probably have around a three or a four. Virtue, you probably have a five at the end of the game. So getting true end is not that bad. So once you get the true end and you beat the true end, which is the epilogue, you get you can now have access to the after story, and that's how you get the after story. So you have to get the true end in order in order to get the ap the the after story. So. Uh, let's go on. What are we? Infinity. I talked about that. Yep. Next is a uh, five-star chef and battle page over here. Battle page. You get this once you clear every single dungeon. It's not that hard. You don't have to scan monsters or anything. So don't worry. Five-star chef. Once again, you, you're gonna you're gonna need to cook everything in the game. So I'm gonna show you real quick over here. The last two ones, seed food paella and the bitter coffee jelly, do require Ryota and Jun spoilers in the in the after story. So you can't get this until you get to the after story. <clears throat> oh, sorry about my voice, guys. 
so this is pretty much getting every single book in the game so uh once again if you know if you're missing something i'll leave it down in the japanese guide for you hardcore master collector once again this is probably the only difficult one would probably be getting all five stars in your virtues so you probably you 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 want you basically want every single master core in the game anyways good samaritan do all side quests i'll leave that once again down in the guide working stuff which is the 500,000 yen fortune, not that bad, it's pretty easy. This one will require you to uh, talk to the Shrine Maiden and just keep constantly grinding out fortunes until you get a good fortune. So uh, this one probably take you at least like 20 tries or something, who knows, it's not that bad, you just gotta keep doing it. So one over here, you'll get easily get 100,000, 2,000, just play the game. EX skills, pretty much these are all really easy anything over here just playing the game and i don't think it's that bad of a thing to do for you guys it's you'll want you'll probably unlock this in your first playthrough and not even know what you're doing for them can't get this touch so you finish a dungeon without taking damage pretty much the easiest thing to do is go on new game plus and just wreck something with asuka or rion as a ranged character it's pretty easy fast time once again if you can't do it on your first playthrough eat new game plus easy enough you, it's not that bad S rank easy, you're gonna get a lot of those. So now we get over here. So these are the bond events, just like in Trails of Code Steel. In chapter eight, if you do all the scenes, the all the side events with one character of that one character, you get their special bond event. So pretty much easy. And you only need to do two games to do this. Since the first one, the first playthrough, you will not get everybody. There is no possible way you can do it. Even if you just spread it out like Trails of Code Steel, you cannot do that. You have to play a new game. But the good thing is in the new game plus they give you an unlock that allows you to have access every single bond event in the game so just like trails of code steel 3 uh once you get new game plus you unlock every single new game plus uh ability so it's pretty much easy don't don't even worry about it too much so this is finished the prolong chapter one chapter two chapter three chapter four chapter five chapter this is the intermission sorry chapter six chapter seven finish the epilogue i mean finish the, cha finish the final chapter which is chapter eight finish the epilogue and finish the after game so the after game, since this is EX Plus, is what's added on to the game. You get to play as Jun and Ryota, and every single chapter other than chapter 8 has an extra story. To my, to my opinion, most of those extra stories aren't really worth the time, and I wish there was a way to skip them, if anything, because they're just a time waster If after the first time you play it, because they don't really add anything to the game too much. But uh, that, that's just me, and... Honestly, I love the intermission. It's, it, it's probably what I needed the most in the game. And I wish something like Trails of Code Steel 3 had. So, uh, that's kind of a real quick roadmap to Platinum. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I'll try to help whatever I can. And I kind of know my channel has been dead for a little bit. But uh, now that we're out of Christmas season and uh, everyone's out of the house, kind of, I can start doing more recordings. So, hopefully, you guys stay tuned for that. Peace.